Hey folks, I'm Dennis. Um, I've got a 94 Ford Ranger automatic transmission and we've put 16 inch wheels and oversized tires on this truck so now the speedometer is out of whack. So today I'm going to show you how to change the gear on the transmission end of the speedometer cable to recalibrate your speedometer. Um, later in the video I'll show you how to calculate how many teeth you need and uh, on the gear but first I'm going to show you how to change the gear out so let's get started here's my gear this is a 16 tooth gear they're color coded um, and then also of course you can count the number of teeth on the on the gear if you need to come with an o-ring um, the 16 tooth gear is longer because it fits other applications. Most of the, I think all the other gears are, uh, the, the gear head only comes up about halfway and then the rest is a, is a bit of a, just a center shaft. Um, but they all fit the same way. So I'll show you where it comes out of the transmission and how to replace it. All right, so you get under the truck on the driver's side and find the back end of the transmission which uh, which is right here okay that's the tailpiece right here is where the this is the sensor and this is the transmission cable uh, right here so we're going to take this bolt out and pull the cable out and then that will reveal the gear. Alright, so you're going to need an 11 millimeter wrench. You can get by with a 7 16 if you don't have one. But uh, I believe this, the, the actual size is 11 millimeter. You can't get in there with a socket because there's not enough room between the collar in the bolt head for a socket so you gotta have a wrench there's a, a bracket that holds that thing in so you take the bolt out and then that bracket it's a fork kind of deal. It slips out. So keep that in the right orientation. It's got a curved lip on the back of it, on the heel, and that goes toward the transmission. So remember how that goes. And you slide it out, and you can see it's got a it's got a gear on the end of it. Okay. All right, so there's a clip right here on the bottom of that gear. You got to reuse that clip, so treat it gently. But you got to get it off of there, and then the then the uh, gear will come off. All right? And get your screwdriver up underneath there, about midways, and uh, just pop it out like so all right again keep it in mind which way that thing goes it's gonna go you know with the the flat surface there toward the end of the gear all right now that'll slide off just comes right off of there nothing to it so that's the old gear now when you pull this out, make sure you kind of wipe all the grime away around the, the here's the O-ring. There shouldn't be any grime here because that's been in the transmission and sealed off. But there will be some here. So wipe that off before you stick that back in there because if you, uh, if you don't want to get a bunch of junk inside the tranny. Same thing with your O-ring. Just take a, take a hook or your screwdriver and... Uh, Pop that old O-ring out. 
it's hard to do this and work around the camera, so I apologize, but or break it. And put your new one on. Without breaking it. There you go. Just make sure it's in the groove all the way around. Take your... Uh, Take your new gear, make sure it's clean, slide it on there, take your clip, keeping it oriented in the same way that it was, and you notice there's a, there's a little void right there in that groove where the clip goes, so that'll go on the open side. Right. Put that in there. And just press it on it just snaps in place make sure it's on there secure because you don't want that coming loose inside the transmission now that's all on there good and tight no sweat stick it right back in the hole seat it all the way up in there just like that turn that back like it was Get your, uh, let's see, how was that in there? Like that. You got to make sure it's turned right because there's some grooves uh, in this flange, okay? And the forks on this bracket have to fit in those grooves. So if you don't have that turned right, the it basically won't line up with the bolt hole. So you can just stick that in there. And turn that till you line up with the bolt hole, and then you're good to go. Put your bolt back in. Tighten it up. And you're all done. And then all you got to do is test it and make sure your speed's right. I'll show you in just a minute how to figure out what gear you need to get your speed right and uh, then the only thing you got to do is order it and do this simple little change out and you're good to go so thanks for watching I appreciate you checking out my video and uh, hope to see you back soon